How many of y'all been shot at? How many of y'all know somebody that's been shot or murdered? That's all of y'all. How many of y'all believe in this room right now that you're gonna make it? That's beautiful. You have to be able to understand that you can make it. Every last one of y'all in this room, y'all got value. Y'all got value not only in where y'all at right now, but outside in the real world. Y'all got people that look up to y'all. This most recent shooting has again shaken up the near north neighborhood. One day after bullets hit a Minneapolis high school, students and staff there are calling for change. This is not about North High. This is about the North Side. This is the beginning of a new day. God has given me this day to use as I will. I can waste it or use it for good. But what I do today is important. I'm exchanging a day of my life for it. One, two, three, let's work. One, two, three, let's work. Listen, here, here. Now, now they don't make that pass. This is an invitation that he's, this says he's open. This says he's not. Better, better, that's it, that, that, bet, bunch. Ah, great job, you can do it. You can do it. I, I swear I won't tell you nothing. Trust, trust the process. Devon is an incredible talented kid. You know, once that light bulb really comes on and he wakes up, and, and does what he really needs to do in terms of getting in the gym and working at his craft, he has a chance to be something really, really special. Give him some space. Retreat, retreat. Oh, he's using the screen. Good work, good work, good work. One, two, three. Family. What's up, T? How was your day? Good, good. I watch highlights and I study the game every day. Right before I eat, I grab my phone and I'll just put on a recent game and watch the highlights. I noticed 2017 when I started seeing the dunking clips and stuff like that. That's when I knew that he was really going to be great at basketball. Me and Devon, we are really close. Actually, he's, he's gotten me through a lot of tough situations being a single mom. As a kid, I remember always being with my mom. I was always with her, everything we did. And my dad, he was in and out of jail. And I was, it would be shaky, like I was close to him for like a certain amount of time, then he would go to jail and it would hurt my feelings and I would ask my mom where my dad was at. And sometimes she wouldn't tell me because she knew that it would hurt my feelings and I would cry. So, I mean, I feel like my mom had a lot on her shoulders and she pulled through with it. And I'll just thank her for that. I see a strong leader someone that can actually take a situation, alter it, and make the best out of it. I noticed that Devon always looked for that role model, that male role model. I didn't have a father, so I relied on coaches when I played basketball. Like, if, like they took me in like, like I was their own. He even told me at one point when I was in a, like, a difficult living situation that I could come stay with him. He had a space for me in his basement. So he told me if I need anything, just ask. And he said, if it's something outrageous, then you go, I don't know, but if it's something reasonable, then I can always help you. You know, he's just a good kid. I mean, and in spite of some of the challenges that he's had in his life as a 14 or 15 year old, just a good young man. I tell all, every kid that play for me, once you become a member of my team, you become a member of my family. I wouldn't do anything more for Devon than I would do for any of those kids. But I, I can tell you this, I mean, without a doubt, I, I love my kid. mandatory study hall since I started coaching. Ultimately, the most important stat that you can have is called GPA, ACT, SAT. I know if your goal is to go to college, then we got to put you in a position to be able to do that. And that's going to start no matter how many points you put in the hole, no matter how fast, no matter how high you jump, it's going to start with academics. I know those kids don't eat breakfast. Most of them, or not all of them, complain about the school lunch. So they're not eating in the cafeteria. I mean, like, for example, I mean, Devon called me one day. I mean, Coach, 
I missed lunch. They didn't have enough food. He didn't eat. When they come to practice, I want 100%. So we just want to make sure they get something in their stomach. And the reality of it is, too, you know, for some of our kids, that may be the only meal they have. We got a relationship with the coach in Chicago. She invites us up every year, and then we have good friends that can really cook. I have a lot of respect and admiration for the way he works with his team. When they were here last year, I said, Larry, how's the team doing? Instead of telling me the great record they had, he said, we're averaging 3.0, a good GPA. So that's the way he thinks, and I really appreciate that. So we get a chance to go visit with them and a good family and share time. You know, the thing about it is that's an opportunity when you really get to know each other. We get to know the kids a little bit better. I mean, and I tell you, I mean, we've come off those trips and I'd be like, man, I never knew that about this kid or that kid. We've had those conversations. I mean, the things that you find out, I think it's helped us all the time become a better team. For a lot of them kids, I'm the only man in their life on a consistent basis. My job is to give them tools to be able to take away and be successful. I want to help these young men become the change agent and be the people who go away to school, come back, and change this environment.